I'm going to talk about my testosterone changes. So I'm eight weeks on testosterone. Definitely what I've noticed is my feet have grown half an inch. So these shoes that I'm wearing, they're pretty snug. They're, and you know, I, that's how I knew that my feet grew. Also, facial hair. Like, I'm having it crazy. Like, it's coming in, like if the sun's hitting it, and then my fiance sat on my chin. So, facial hair is definitely coming. I'm not receding, which I'm kind of happy about. Um, my voice, nothing. Still nothing. I hate it. I, cause, like, people will call me back, or they'll say, like, when I answer the phone at work, they'll say, yes, ma'am, or whatever, and I just absolutely, like, ah, hate it. Um, I am able to lose some weight a little faster. I'm also gaining, you know, it's very easy to gain weight, too, on testosterone, so that's the downside, downside about it. That's why I'm doing this cut as well, too. And then, um, on top of being able to lose weight, I'm, able, I'm getting muscle, like, incredibly fast when I work out. I, it's really easy now for me to gain muscle mass, which I love, and I also want to lose it. So, I'm not trying to, working out, I'm not trying to get, like, bodybuilder, like, whoa, big, you know, type thing. I just want to look fit, I want to look good, I want to look toned, things like that. And just for my health, for my health, too, because, as you all know who are on testosterone, a big, big thing is heart disease, and you know, um, things like that, and heart disease runs in my family, my dad has had two heart attacks, and so, my grandma has a bunch of heart disease, my dad's mom, so it's like, I really need to, uh, you know, work out, be healthy, eat healthy, just keep myself healthy from, you know, so I don't get into any, like, I don't have any bad health situations, and, even, like, I'm, it's one thing I'm trying to cut out is a lot of eggs because my cholesterol, my cholesterol overall is 198, but the HDL, I, whatever the bad cholesterol is, that's a little high, so, you know, I need to keep an eye on that and also try to monitor what I'm eating more and just keep that in mind, so, so that is testosterone update, you know, nothing else, um, I haven't noticed any bottom growth either. Uh, so yeah, so that's pretty much for testosterone update. And then uh, May 2nd, so I have about a week and a half left and everything will be changed. Well, I'll have my like birth records changed to male and things like that. And my name changed officially to Mel. So I am going to be very happy. And I'm even more happy and more excited because my fiance, is, she's going to get to get the day off and come with me. And we thought she wouldn't be able to. So I'm really excited and really happy about that because that is like, you know, she was there for my top surgery. She's been there for everything like starting testosterone. Like this is a journey not only that I'm taking and I'm going through. But she's also going through as well. So it's like it's like a shared journey for both of us. But then it's not because she's on the end of someone who's transitioning. And I'm the person who's transitioning on my end. So, But it's just really great to have her. And have her support and her friends coming to be the second witness too. So it's just like, it's great to have such great support. Great support from my cousins and just like people who know everyone's very supportive and I just don't tell the people that I know that aren't going to be supportive because it's hard enough to with what I'm going through right now with like the changes and then just job wise it's so stressful things like that that the last thing I need is someone's negativity towards me about my transition and what I want to do to make me feel more comfortable or be the person that I feel that I was born to be and the last thing I want is someone to give me their negative comments and 
anything like that because I dealt with a lot of things on that end from saying that I was a lesbian when I came out when I was like 17, 18. So it's just uh, definitely not what I want to deal with. I've just been a lot more happy, a lot more positive, and I know what I need to do for myself to help me have a good day, to help me be positive and not be frustrated, not be, you know, just in a bad place, is what I'm saying, because I know what I need to do, and who I should have in my life who will help me do that, so...